With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today. Hello, I'm Pat Phillips, I'm Ellis County Master Gardener with K-State Research and Extension, the Cottonwood District. And today we're out at the Master Gardener Vegetable Trial Plots at the, at the Kansas State Ag Research Center just south of Hayes. Um, the Master Gardeners every year do plant tomatoes and peppers and some other vegetables as a trial for K-State. Most of these are new varieties, some of them are old ones, just trying to see whether they do well in our environment out here. We, have <clears throat> we also sometimes do other vegetables and this year we did some zucchini and summer squash. K-State provides the material except the zucchini and summer squash which we just planted seeds and we provide the work and send, keep track of the, of the progress and keep records and send that back to K-State. This year we have 11 varieties of tomatoes, 11 sweet pepper varieties, 12 hot pepper varieties, and seven uh, summer and fall squash, or summer and winter squash. A total, we have a total of 120 plants. We have some new things going on this year. First of all, we're in a slightly different location. When Joe Becker could no longer plant the, the uh, flower beds, the, he said, well, why don't you use our beds? I've been adding compost to them for the last four or five years, which was a wonderful idea. And then I said, I really want to go back to the, to the soaker hoses because the drip, drip irrigation system kept getting plugged up and we couldn't tell if we were watering all the plants or not. So we went back to a drip irrigation system. In addition, we have a new horticulture agent, Rip Winkle, and he's had some experiences that we haven't had, and he was willing to help us along. So with our drip system, or our irrigation, our soaker hoses, he said, let's put them on a manifold, which is something that connects all three rows together without doing the snake where it had to go from the beginning to the end. And that gives all of the beds the same amount of water, all of the lines the same amount of water. Um, in addition, he said, why don't we try some landscape um, weed barrier instead of the straw? So we said, well, it's, it sounds like we, we don't mind trying that, and so we did. And you'll notice there's no straw this year, and that's because it wouldn't stay on the, on the weed barrier, and besides, you don't really need it. Okay. Um, in addition, we did one more thing, and that's over at the tomatoes. We did not cage them. One of our master gardeners said, let's give it a try this year. See if we really need to cage those tomatoes. So we did not cage those. So let's see how things have worked out. Well, first of all, we had some challenges that the weather has given us. Heat early in the summer, and then torrential rains about that same time. This was all in June. And then by the time July got here, it was cooler but it was also cloudier, which meant that many of the plants did not grow the way they really um, have in the past. And as far as uncaged tomatoes, that's not a good plan. We have a jungle back here where the um, indeterminates are. There are, 12, there are 12 tomato plants in there, three different varieties, four different varieties, and there's no way we can tell which tomatoes are on which variety. Peppers. Those are prolific. Uh, they always are. Peppers like our hot, our hot climate. So peppers have done beautifully. Zucchini and summer squash are down at the far end. Those have done really well too. The summer squash, we've so far harvested over 400 pounds. I harvested almost 120 pounds yesterday. As far as tomatoes, we have very few of those. The tomatoes, first of all, I said we couldn't find them if they were there. But in addition, the weather was not real helpful. 
Um, in the early, in the summer, it, early summer, it was too hot for them to set on, and by the time they could set on, it was so cloudy and cool, they just did not grow. So in, um, as a result, we've had almost no tomatoes to harvest at all. But there's always another year. Gardeners and farmers look ahead. And so we have some things we want to keep. We want to keep the soaker hoses. We want to keep the weed barrier, but bring back the cages. So this is Pat Phillips reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Ellis County T or an Ellis, an Eagle TV. And I'm Pat Phillips. Uh, with the Cottonwood District of K-State Research and Extension out at the Master Gardener Trial Beds uh, south of Hayes at the K-State Ag Research Center. Hello, I'm Mary Lou Maston, Extension Master Gardener. Today I'd like to share with you a few Master Gardener timely tips. Shorter days and cooler, cooler nights mean the leaves will turn and fall from trees. Take advantage of the weather to plant trees, shrubs, spring flowering bulbs, and mums. For fruits and vegetables, after a light frost, dig your sweet potatoes and cure them for two weeks in a warm, dry, shady location. Then store in a cool, dry location for longer keeping. Root crops like carrots, turnips, and beets can remain in the garden after a frost and still be removed in good condition later, but get them dug and stored before the ground freezes. Some crops such as carrots actually taste sweeter when they mature near freezing temperatures for two to four weeks. For flowers, plant spring flowering bulbs such as tulips, daffodils, and crocus for a splash of early color. Lawns control uh, dandelions, henbit, and chickweed with a broad laugh broadleaf herbicide now while the seedlings are young. And don't f pr forget to prepare the compost pile for winter. H um, reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, this has been Mary Lou Maston, Extension Master Gardener. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today.